evening and welcome to Central News for Tuesday the 26th of June. I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, former Tauranga City Council Chief Executive Officer Ken Patterson was given a private family funeral on Saturday, followed by cremation. The 61-year-old died in his sleep last Sunday night, leaving behind his wife Melanie, son Finley, three, and three-month-old twins Mackenzie and Elliot. He also has two children from an earlier marriage in his homeland of Scotland. Ken's brother-in-law Malcolm John says this is a very difficult time and the family appreciates being given the time and space to mourn the devastating loss of Ken. Tauranga Mayor Stuart Crosby says the council is still considering a memorial service for Ken but that will not proceed without the permission, acknowledgement and support of the family, particularly Melanie. Founder of the successful It's Not OK campaign, Richard Wood, has been awarded a New Zealand Order of Merit for his service to the state for 47 years. Richard's career was heavily focused on serving families and he believes he has reached his goals in this area. Um, I've, I've never, my, I have loved my career and I wouldn't change any of it, but there are a lot more things that are still to be achieved um, in the uh, family support area. Tauranga Girls College State teacher Amanda Haynes is among one of 10 New Zealand school teachers chosen to take part in a study trip to China this month. The 33-year-old business studies and economics teacher departed for Shanghai on Friday to participate in a week-long business studies forum. Amanda hopes her trip will provide her with knowledge of the area that she can then bring back to her students, including an awareness of Asia and how Kiwi businesses are trading and coping in the area. Hindu Council of New Zealand is organising the first gathering of Māori Indians in Rotorua in early October. The gathering is set to take place at Tangatirua Marae, which is fitting for this hui as Tangatirua translate to two people, strongly symbolising the bicultural nature of those attending. Hindu Council of New Zealand General Secretary Dr Gunnar Madison says the plan is to provide a platform to these people who could help develop our intercultural understanding to a higher level. Time to check out the regions, whether the sun is last, isn't lasting too much longer in our regions as showers roll in for your Wednesday. Tauranga dips down to 5 overnight and up to 14 tomorrow. In Hamilton, you don't warm up too much tomorrow with 12 from 4. Coming up after the break, Ocean Books has hit the ground running since its launch late March. The kids' market proved a thriving success and is set again for, from July. And a Tauranga lawyer, Bill Holland, receives a Queen's Service Medal for his service to the community. Join me after the break.